Do you want to know why I had no address for three months, Dad? I stole a suit in Kansas City and I was in jail. Yeah, I stole myself out of every job I had since high school and I never got anywhere because you filled me so full of hot air. But I couldn't stand to take orders from anybody anymore. You see, Dad, that's whose fault it is. I had to become boss big shot in two weeks and I'm through with it, Dad. And you need to hear that and nobody's hanging himself, Willie. I ran down a pair of stairs today with a pen in my hand and suddenly I stopped. And in the middle of that office building, do you hear me? I stopped in the middle of that building and I saw the sky. And I saw the things that I love in this world. The work, the food, the time, the sit and smoke, I saw it all. And I saw that pen in my hand and I said, what the heck am I grabbing you for? Why? Why am I trying to become something that I don't even want to be? <laughs> Why am I in an office, Pop, making some contemptuous begging fool out of myself when all I want is out there, out there? Just waiting for me to say that I know who I am. And why can't we say that, Pop? I'm a dime a dozen pop and so are you. Biff Loman is not a, a leader of men and neither are you pop. You are never anything more than a hard working drummer that landed in the ash can. Like all the rest of them. And me, I'm a buck an hour. I tried in seven states, couldn't raise it a buck an hour. So do you catch my meaning, Pop? I'm not gonna bring home any more prizes, so you're gonna have to stop waiting for them because I'm nothing, Pop. I'm nothing. And there's no spite in it anymore. Just who I am. So please, Dad. Just let go of that phony dream. Before something happens. <laughs>